Also, if you're willing to do a one minute video, okay, a one minute video or less, um, and uh, you know, all you have to do is say why it's important for you to um, ask lawmakers, congressmen, senators, mayors, you know, uh, lawyers, uh, doctors that help in a town that can make a voice at the sheriff's department, whatever it is, we're asking them to visit a prison this year. Okay. We're asking them to visit a prison. Um, FAM is the one who is, this is the movement is through FAM, but I am so passionate about this. So if you want to do a one minute video, it only do it though. If you know how to send it to me, I can send you my phone number. You could text to me, text it to me this way. I could download it and I could put it onto our YouTube channel and share it with all the people who advocate. We are asking them to visit a prison. Okay. This, this would be an example, okay? Uh, kind of what I did earlier today. I urge you, lawmakers, congressmen, Senate, mayors, even the President of the United States, I am pleading with you to go inside of our prisons in America and see what's going on. See how people are being kept in segregation only because they are scared and fearful for their life and they're in protective custody. And instead of moving them to another facility and getting rid of the problem, these men and women are staying locked in segregation for sometimes days, weeks, months, and even years and being buried alive. And we urge you to go into the prisons. You can get in there. You're the ones who make our laws. You're the ones who set our policies and our procedures. Please, I'm begging you for the, the lives of the incarcerated. They are human. And this is, we are America. And this is a humanitarian crisis that we are facing. We have correctional officers bringing drugs and cell phones and, and, and contraband and selling it to our loved ones. And then our loved ones are the only ones that are being punished for wanting to just let everyone know what's going on in there. Yes, there are some amazing units and I'm not saying there aren't. There's some units that have dog programs. There's some units that have church, that have, you know, overcomers, that have, you know, programs, but there are a lot more that don't. And we urge you lawmakers to go in there and see what's going on. You can get in there with just a phone call. We can't. And so we're asking you, we're urging you. Um, we are the ones that vote for you and we have faith in you that you are going to help us just like the opioid crisis that has been deemed in America as a humanitarian crisis this abuse and corruption within our prison system we keep reporting it we we're it seems like we get one thing solved and 10 more come we're losing loved ones we are losing we just lost a loved one ricky turner look at ricky turner he was in bop maximum security florence for being a drug dealer he had a meth problem and he was in florence maximum security the worst b prison you can be in America, locked away, buried alive, found deceased in his cell last month. We need you. We beg you to please help us with our loved ones. We beg you. And this is what we need to do, loved ones. We've got to make these videos. We've got to be a voice. This is fam's back in us. They're for us. They'll advertise it. They'll send it. But only our stories are the ones that people will understand. So we're asking you and we're pleading with all of you, not only the lawmakers, but the loved ones that come across this video. We are asking you to make a video. If you don't know how to get it on YouTube, have your own YouTube channel, send it to me. I will be glad to put it on Inmate Support's YouTube channel. This is critical to our loved ones. So I'm asking you to please band together and let's use hashtag visit a prison. 
uh, tag your lawmakers because we have them. They are responding. We have ones in Kentucky that are going Pennsylvania, that are going Florida. They are listening, but they don't know unless we contact them. Send it to your you know, local offices. Send it to your mayor. Send it to anyone that has a say in these laws, these policies, these procedures. We have to take our loved ones back and stop letting them get thrown away just because they don't know. So I encourage you today, hashtag visit a prison. Peace out.